all over the city, all different agencies and organizations are fighting for additional funding. And libraries have risen to the top of this and worked the campaign to emulate. And I think a lot of that has to do with the funding from Revson. We're fighting for intellectual knowledge. Um, we're fighting for access for everyone, opening doors, keeping the libraries going, keeping the programs going, keeping everybody in the library all day and giving the great customer service that we do on a daily basis. To really feel empowered when we're together and we're all on the same page and we're speaking with uh, these elected officials and letting them know what's happening at a branch level and how we're catering to the community and all that we're doing. We're not fighting for libraries to be for some people, where it's for the elite. You know, it's for everyone. So when we speak in one voice, the world and the city and those people in charge know that we all have the same goal in mind. The Epson Foundation has supported the New York Public Library in a myriad of ways, from supporting uh, NYPL's innovations in ebook technology to our work in partnership with the Starburst New Yorkers Foundation in the New York City Neighborhood Library Awards. I can't imagine a more suitable setting for everyone to be able to improve themselves, to be able to enrich their families, to be able to be with others in the community than the New York Public Library's branches. It is reliving the great Andrew Carnegie story a hundred years later. And you can walk into any branch in this, in this city and you won't find an empty seat. And that is because it's playing the critical role it has always played in strengthening the social welfare and economic fabric of our communities.